Welcome to our oil filter shootout. Ah! Oh yeah, so what we're doing today is we're looking at different oil filters. In other words, what are the differences from your, let's say, $5-ish filter compared to your $10 plus oil filter? Many of us just purchase what's on sale, of course, but what are the differences? So what we're going to do today is we'll look at the cost of each filter. We'll take a look at where it's made. Then we'll even weigh them. In other words, how many grams does each filter weigh? That can give us an idea on the cartridge or the amount of cartridge inside the filter. And then lastly, we will cut open the filter. Let's see what's inside the filter. Let's see the material used. I'm actually really pumped for this. I want to see what's going on with these filters. So let's just get right to it. Let's start with the basics and we'll move all the way up to cutting the sucker open. And uh, let's see what we come back with. Now the filters shown here are made for the same vehicle. So in other words, we're not jumping around from one car to another. They're all designed for the same vehicle. Unfortunately, I could not get K&N. The K&N was out of stock for the vehicle, unfortunately. But nevertheless, this is what we're working with. These are all very popular. Let's start with the cheaper STP filter, move our way up to Mobile One, and let's see what we come back with. So let's start with the basic STP filter. We often see this filter on sale at the uh, local parts store. And this filter is designed to be replaced every three months. So if you're using conventional motor oil and you're replacing the filter every three months, this filter is perfectly fine. It's made in the United States. And let's see what it weighs here. It's often on sale. Uh, by itself, it's around four and a half bucks, but usually you see these type of filters on sale and 168 grams, so let's hear it for STP. <laughs> Next up we have the big orange, the Fram oil filter. I like the Fram just because of the grip. In other words, you don't need, well, let's see what it weighs, 172. A little bit more than the STP, but you don't need one of these oil filter removal tools or one of the universal ones. This is a big one. This is made for a small block Chevy, if you're curious, but uh, this is, I like that fact. I like that you can get an extra grip on the end of the fram. This you can use conventional or synthetic motor oil. Runs for around five bucks. And this is good for 5,000 miles. So again, if we look at the weight, 172. So a little, little bit more than the STP. But curious to see what the differences between these two when we cut it open. But good numbers for fram. All right, big arms. Next up, we have the Bosch, the Bosch oil filter. This is the filter I use most. I like Bosch just because I know the quality is excellent. They supply many, many automotive providers. Uh, I would say probably every one. Uh, they run, they use, they'll provide parts down to your basic Chevrolet all the way up to Ferrari. So I know the quality is very good with Bosch. This is also made in the United States. A little bit more. They run for around seven bucks. Sometimes you find them on sale, but if we take a look at the weight here, look at that, 211 grams. The Fram with this tar material was 172. This you can run conventional or synthetic. Now, the box states, it doesn't state when you should replace it or how often you should replace it. If I ran synthetic, I would not mind using the Bosch, to be perfectly honest. It's, it's a very, very good oil filter. I'm really curious to see what this is like when we open it up, because uh, I like Bosch a lot. Next up, we have STP. This is the only filter not made in the United States here. This is made in Korea, and this is made for your synthetic motor oil. You can use conventional, but it's designed to be used up to 10,000 miles. So if you're running synthetic, this is a good oil filter to use, no problem. I like the fact that they use this plastic tab on the gasket. That's a nice feature. And runs for around $9. Let's see what it weighs. Two fifteen. dollars So it's actually more than the Bosch, which you would expect. I mean, you can actually feel the difference in the weight when you hold these two. And it's smaller, so that tells me there's more cartridge material inside here for filtration. But that little, four grams more than the Bosch, so look at that. 10,000 miles again, guys. 10,000 miles for the STPXL. Finally, we have the Mobile One. 
Mobile One, I would say, is almost the granddaddy. Uh, a lot of you can argue that's K&N, there's, there's Royal Purple, there's Pennzoil, there's a lot of uh, others out there. But Mobile One, uh, when I think of racing, I think of Mobile One. Uh, very, very good oil. This filter is made in the USA. Designed up to 15,000 miles. You would use this if you're running synthetic only. Only synthetic. You would not use this filter if you're using uh, conventional. It would be a waste of money. So if you're running synthetic, it's a very good oil filter. This runs for around $13. And let's see what it weighs. 226, and that's what I suspected. It should be more than our STP XL. So let's hear from Mobile One, guys. Very good. Quick review before we start cutting open these suckers. This STP basic filter again, 3,000 miles conventional motor oil. This, the Fram conventional or synthetic, 5,000 miles. This, the Bosch, this is synthetic or conventional motor oil. If you follow the vehicle's uh, interval, recommended interval, I'll be perfectly happy with the Bosch STP conventional or synthetic 10,000 miles and the Mobile One synthetic only for uh, 15,000 miles. What a good number, huh? And again, prices around four and a half. This is five bucks, seven bucks, nine bucks, thirteen dollars. So let's go ahead and cut open these suckers. I really want to see what's inside here. the result that we're looking at here as you can see different sizes the concentration of the cartridge is different I mean look at the difference between the Fram and the Bosch the concentration is so much more price difference again is around two dollars between the Bosch and the Fram but this weighs the most out of all the filters here 69 grams so very very good quality materials and the Bosch it's almost like the Corvette of the group it's reasonably priced but you get very very good performance now the interesting thing with the STP against the Fram, the STP weighs 45 grams. Now look at the Fram. Fram is larger and it's 38 grams. Of course the reason behind that is the construction. This is all metal construction. The Fram is cardboard on the end. But the other thing to consider is if you're running or you're changing your oil every three months, I would be perfectly happy with the STP. Uh, it's actually, I think it's a very, very reasonably priced filter if you're changing your oil every three months and you're not running synthetic. This you get 5,000 miles and you can run synthetic and the price difference is 50 cents so you know you can sort of see which may work better for your vehicle. So that's quite interesting with that and then again STP versus the Mobile One. The STP weighs 64 grams and then the Mobile One filter we're at 65 grams, so pretty much the same. Again, 15,000 miles, synthetic only. Don't waste your money running conventional with the Mobile One. This, the STP, you can use conventional or synthetic. So take from this what you may. Maybe this helps you pick out the filter you want to use the next time you change your oil. And until then, we'll see you next time.